All right, okay, okay, okay. Let's watch this one. Um, Chris and Eriksen choosing between Manchester United and Brentford. Let's see this and let's go. Sky Sport News. Let's go. I believe there's developments over the future of Christian Eriksen, as we mentioned, with yeah, yeah. his choice between Man United or Brentford. That's right. A significant 24 hours in the future of Christian Eriksen. Good morning, Hayley. Great to see you. Um, this is a, a really fascinating story at the moment because Christian Eriksen is quite simply deciding on two options. One is Manchester United. The second is Brentford. Quite amazing to think that 10 yeah, years yeah. ago, Manchester United were challenging for Premier League titles. 10 years ago, Brentford were in League One preparing for their first game of the season, which was against Bury. Yeah. They're now competing in the same market to sign the same player. Uh, and I yeah, yeah. Um, am really intrigued as to how this one plays out. Um, so both offers are fair, respectful and decent. Christian Eriksen is very aware that Manchester United are a huge club and have offered him a really good, strong deal. The same with Brentford. Uh, and it really is a, a, a head and a heart situation. Mm -hmm. You can almost weigh up the pros and cons for him deciding to go to either Manchester United or Brentford. Of course, he worked with Thomas Frank as a youngster. He just had a hugely successful spell there, keeping the side in the Premier League. He was the heartbeat of that Brentford yep. midfield True. from January right through to the end of the season. I think if you speak to most Brentford fans, they would say, without Christian Eriksen, we possibly could have gone down. That's how influential and important he was for us at the back end of last season. It was Thomas Frank and Brentford that gave him the opportunity off the back of everything that had happened with him. Uh, so therefore, there's a, a, a loyalty there to, to the football mm. club. But then you call, of course, you've got Manchester United, one of the biggest clubs in world football, um, revitalising that squad, that midfield. And you've got Eric Ten Hag, who was someone that allowed him to train with Ajax off the back of what happened in the Euros. So there's a, a really nice connection there as well. You've got Christian Eriksen's family who were settled in London, doesn't necessarily want mm. to move anywhere outside of, of London. So that's important for him. Money is no motivating factor mm. in this deal. Um, so it's purely for football reasons, and he's got these two huge opportunities. Um, so it's when he's playing also in Europe League, this one plays out. There's no rush or time scale on the decision. Christian Eriksen is very relaxed at this moment in time. He knows he's got options on the table, um, and playing football and being in the right place is key. Now, something you mentioned to me earlier on actually was was Gary Neville. Now, Gary Neville has actually been tweeting as well. Take a look at this because I think this is this is really interesting. Um, now, I've got my glasses on, Hayley, so you're going to have to read that. Who the me. fuck is Gary okay, Neville? With a, with a squint and a look. Yeah, he, he said, that's why dividends have to stop for a period. Every penny has to go back into the club until it becomes attractive again. This club has become a graveyard for players, culturally for owners, uh, to take money out of poorly performing business is demoralising. And this is, of course, um, a, an article that Sky Sports have posted on their website uh, about the fact that um, these dividends are going to be taken out of the club. They're yeah. looking at the finances of things and using Christian Eriksen as an example of the type of player that, 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 that they're going for. And Gary Neville just really unhappy with the whole situation with regards to, I guess, everything in the way that the club is being run. Yeah, so allegedly um, there are dividends being taken out of the football club mm. going to board members today, which is something that happens at football clubs. But what Gary Neville is referencing there is that why should money be going out of Manchester United when we're trying to rebuild this side, regenerate Old Trafford uh, and invest in the academy, the infrastructure and rebuild this fantastic club into the great club that it once was. And how are Manchester United competing with Brentford? And that's no disrespect to Brentford, um, but for, a, for yeah. a player that, of course, has a lot of quality. But, but should that be the situation and should money be going out of the club in that way? So really, really interesting. We know that Gary Neville was hugely passionate about Manchester United and, and is always honest about Manchester United as well. So, yeah, we'll keep uh, our eyes and ears to the ground on this one. Mm. Christian Eriksen with a straight shootout decision between United and Brentford. Yeah, it true. It would be easier if they got the big bucks for Paul Pogba, but gone <laughs> on a free. They get absolutely nothing for this. Possibly the worst bit of business ever done, of course, twice for Paul Pogba going to Juventus. Well, when's this deal going to be completed? Well, we're expecting some <laughs> movement on this deal in the next oh my God. hours. Today could be a really significant day for the future of the 29-year-old midfielder. What do we know? We know that there's an agreement in place between Juventus and Paul Pogba, Sky in Italy are reporting it's a, a three plus one year deal or four year deal uh, on the table for him. Uh, and this contract is Mental. due to start at the beginning of July. And like you say, after six years at Manchester United, he is a free agent to decide his future. And I was looking at 
Paul Pogba's success at Juventus when he was there before as a youngster. Hugely successful. Yeah. Um, won a whole host of, of silverware, including four Serie A titles. At Manchester United Ooh. in six years, just two trophies, the Europa League and the EFL Cup. Um, arguably, Paul Pogba's biggest success at Manchester United wasn't actually for Manchester United. It was winning the World Cup in 2018 with France. So I think this, this whole yeah. scenario is coming to an end. And I've been talking about Paul Pogba during transfer windows for about six years. Mm. It almost feels like immediately after he joined Manchester United, there was speculation of, about him leaving. And, and every single window, there's been on-off talks about any potential departure. Uh, but I get the feeling that genuinely and wholeheartedly, this might be the last day we talk about Paul Pogba making a move in a transfer yeah. window. So we're expecting some movement today, yeah. but all eyes pointing towards Juventus. True. All right. Nice. Great video. Great video.